Hey, all right, everybody, look, I got another box. Okay, so what's inside this box today? Well, it's a diagnostic tool and it pairs up with your phone with an app. So we'll unbox it, see what's inside the box, and then we'll have a look at the app and then we'll try it out. Okay, so let's unbox it. King Bolan, E-Diag Elite. Look at the box that side there, it says that. Let's go to the other side there. A few things there, look. There we go. Let's take it out of the box now. You've got to pull this little tag here. Now I'm holding the phone, so this is going to be difficult for me to get this out of the box. But I'm going to give it a try anyway. Here it goes. Come on. <laughs> I'm trying to get it out with one hand, like so. And there we go. And inside the box there, we got like a little carrying case there, which is quite nice. Let's get it out of there. We got the instructions right by there. Let me take this out of the carrying case, and then we'll have a look what it's all about. So there we go, it's nice and compact. Turn it around that way, diagnostic tool, and then it says E-Diag Elite, and it's got a number there. You can see it just pushes into the OBD2 port. We have got the instructions, and we have got to download an app. So let's download the app, let's take this to the car, try it out, and then we'll see how good it actually is. Now, I've downloaded the app. I've got the app here on my phone. I'll put it up by here. Um, you've got to plug this in and pair your phone or the app to this. So we'll do that in a second. But we'll just have a quick look by here. Um, you have got to sign up. You've got to log in, log in detail, do a password, all that sort of stuff. You've got to do that there. But if I look at vehicle coverage by here, just click go over there. Uh, model selection. And you can see... If I click there, just go wait a second for it to load up. You can see all the models there. Look, it goes through loads and loads of vehicles. But let's pair this app up to this, and then we can have a bit of a better look. Okay, so here I am. I'm in the car. I've got the thing by here. I'm going to plug it into the OBD2 port in a second. Uh, my car does have some faults, so hopefully this picks it up. But I'm going to have to connect my phone to this once this is plugged in down by there and this thing has got power so let's plug it in and see what happens right okay it's the next day because it's starting again a bit dark but i've got the app by here open i've got the uh e-diag dongle thing down by there the green light is on now i've i've connected by here i'll put it up by the side by here so you can see exactly what i'm looking at on the phone so it should be by here um and you can see by here it says e-diag elite um it's been active for one day because I did it last night. Now, you have got to scan this little QR code thing on there, on the actual uh, manual you get. You've got to scan that, put a put your um, email in, create a, an account, and then this is where we are today. Now, let me just get this back open here. And at the moment, we're on my devices. You can see bacon buttons up there, the email. Uh, you've got reports, my orders, diagnostic feedback, firmware fix, contact us, download management. Let's have a quick look at the download management. And you can see there that you can download a lot of different things. If we go over to the basket and we look at the basket, uh, we got all American, European and Asian. Um, so it goes through the different vehicles. Uh, at the top here, you've got maintenance software. Uh, when you click open, it downloads that onto your phone. So you're in control of what you download onto your phone. Um, if you download them all, it is going to be quite a lot, I expect, because you can see 103 megabytes, 117 megabytes, 93 megabytes. So you can see that one, break one is 167 megabytes. I have down downloaded um, one at the moment. Which one have I downloaded? I think it was the AFS. Um, and then down by here, look, you can see all these cars, look, all the way down there, like that. And if you go over to Asian, look, it'll give you the Asian ones. Uh, European, there we go. Right down to the bottom there, Vauxhall, Volkswagen. Let's go to the main sort of diagnostic page. Uh, you've got all systems, diagnostic, maintenance functions, OBD functions, Vehicle Coverage Inquire has got reports and history. Um, let's try 
So we'll just, just click that one for instance. You can see all the things you've got but there, look. Now, my car is a Nissan Aria, it's electric, but it should still work. I have got a fault with the parking sensor over there in the front left. Um, and that parking sensor, because it's a fault with the parking sensor, it does bring up an ABS uh, sensor code as well. Um, so let's try and do something. What's, what all systems diagnostics? I'll look at that one. Go. Uh, close. So you can do a VIN scan. So let's have a quick look if that works there. Auto search. Blah, blah, blah. And it's going through its loading. The vehicle's info is decoded based on NHTSA database. So I, I don't know if it will be there or not, but this can look up your VIN when you're trying to search. I don't know why this is taking so long, but it is looking through the whole uh, database. So I'll just sit by here a minute and I'll get back to you when it finishes. Right, so it's come up with this and it says Nissan GTR, but my car isn't a Nissan GTR. So let's try manual select. Let's try Japan. Let's try that one there. Oh, and it has got, actually got Aria there. I couldn't find Nissan Aria in the other sub menus, but I've actually found it on here. So FE0, let's try that, yes. And let's try uh, system scan. No, let's try health report then. Let's see. Uh, Mac error. Well, that's not good, is it? Uh, now we're starting to scan. So let's see what happens. I'll put that by the side of me there and I'll speed the uh, the video up so you don't have to wait. Right, okay, so that's finished now. And I could hear all the different systems going on when this was going through it. And I don't know if you can see on the screen here, anti-lock brake system, uh, DTC3. Now, like I said, that's linked to the, uh, the, rate, the parking sensors. If the parking sensor's got a fault, it gets information from the ABS, so that brings up a fault in the anti-lock braking system, even though my car hasn't got an anti-lock braking system fault. Um, now, the other faults are just sort of little communication errors that just pop up. Um, but I know that the main thing that's causing the issue is the parking distance set control sonar. So if we click that one there, it says communicate and please wait. I don't know why it's coming up as a error all the time. Let's try again. Oh, my car's gone off. That's why my car has actually gone off. Let me just turn the car back on. Um, I, I've had the car on and because it's just been in uh, like, you know, the, um, what's it called, you know? The, it's not on, but it's on. <laughs> um, let's try again. Let's try again now it's on. Right, there we go. So it was my fault, not this thing fault. It was my fault because the car turned itself off. Um, read the fault code. code. Oh, yes, have a look at the... Read the fault code. Okay, so there we go. It's brought up the diagnostic uh, code B2729-88. And the ABS uh, thing there, which it says passed, is just the communication between them two things. Um, so I can click search, like so, like that, and then it'll go into Google, and it'll bring up the code. So I can go back like that. Uh, you can do freeze frame, like that, and it'll it'll keep the all the little data for it. And if I go back there, I can click report. So I can click report like that and it'll do a report up there. You can generate a PDF. You can take a, a screenshot or whatever, but I'll generate a PDF. I'll just click like that, like so. And then that will, that will stay in the system and you can go back to that, uh, to what, what the fault was before. So let's go out of there like so and back like this. And you can read the data stream. So then if you read the data stream, you've got all them. Now, when, when you go to read the data stream, um, there's eight sensors, uh, parking sensors on my car. But if you can see by here, look, it's got center, 
front left, centre, front, and corner, front left. <laughs> so it's hard to know exactly which one is the exact one. Um, because you've got centre, front, left, centre, front, right, centre, front, front, left, centre, F, front. Then you've got that one, then you've got that one, that one, and that one, and that one. So there's loads on there. Um, now you could, can do centre, uh center sensor front left hand so i can click that one there but it might give me the two sensors i'll click the right hand as well then i'll click select i did select all sorry let me just do that one more time uh front left and then click ok and then it'll bring up the data stream for the things you pick uh if you click on that there at the moment it's just saying sensor 510 centimeters if I went out and stood in front of it, that value would change. So there we go. So let's go back to the main sort of thing. You can see there, look, it came up with quite a lot of things, but I checked all them things along there, look. Hands-free telephone module. High voltage battery too. Uh, heat pump control. So let's go back. Let's go back again. Back. And back again. And we're going to go, let's try and get right back to the start again. Would you like, yes, I'd like to end that. So we're back to the main screen again. So there's so many things this can do. Uh, it's probably be difficult for me to go through it. But uh, like I said, you can go through here. You can enter your VIN or you can do model selection. And you can click make. So you can go through all the makes, look, like so. Now, if I did if I did click Nissan, I clicked Nissan here last time. If I can find it, like so, click that there, and then in that little thing there, my car isn't there. So I've got to go through a different way to get to my car, which is on there, but I got to find a different way. So I don't know why it's been there. I will try put, clicking in uh, manually like this. And it doesn't come up, look, see? But I did find it the other way, which is a bit weird. <laughs> um, so let's go back on here. If I click reports now, uh, I did save some reports. So there we go. There's the reports I've saved, look. So there's one I did yesterday and there's one I did today. Um, if I go back on there like that, you can click in the history. And there's the things there. If I go to a done vehicle coverage, didn't I? Like I said, you can go in here and you can actually buy stuff as well. Um, but a lot, most of this is free to download. I don't know what the difference is, why they got a H next to it. Let me just try that one there. Um, so it says click diagnose. Let's go back. I did do, I've already done Nissan, which is, uh, that one there, see the recents there, look? I did a Nissan Infinity, two Nissans actually, and a TPMS and an AFS. So it tells you the stuff you've downloaded. Um, if I go on here, see all there, look? That's the things you can download. Like I said, you're in control. You can download what you want to download. And i got to say, for the price, for the price, it does a lot of stuff. Look, it says whether you can do injector code in, steel angle reset, the TPMS reset, DPF regen, a brake reset, ABS bleeding, electric throttle, uh, immobilizer reset, oil maintenance reset, gearbox relearn, battery matching, EJR adaption, sunroof initialization, A level calibration, and adaptive front lighting. Um, so it's got all these cars, like I said, and it does all the things that a, a more expensive uh, system would do. So for the price, if you use your phone with it, I think it's a very, very good unit. So there you go. That's my review of the Eadiag Elite Diagnostic Tool. Links will be down in the description below. And if you did like this video, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you very soon in the next one. Hoi!